What's up everybody, The Sites of TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play world. And today we're going to be building the house, the starter house, or what should have been the starter house, but the uh, the shit shack kind of turned into the starter house. So, you know, what can you do? But um, today I really want to get this thing done. And today I actually have a bit more time on my hands. So uh, I was playing around and as you guys can tell by my inventory we're gonna have a very interesting kind of build let's go ahead and spread a few of these out i like the i like the pink petals can i rotate these oh yes i can okay um kind of I, I really like the rose petals or the pink petals I, I like all the the cherry stuff um yeah so i went up there grabbed quite a bit of cherry wood uh because i want to use I want to use some of the new 1.20 blocks. Um, I haven't really used mud either. And I haven't used cherry really in anything quite yet. So uh, let's go ahead and spread out some of these cherry blossom trees. I think would be pretty cool around here. Uh, first things first though. We got to update our Patreon tree. Uh, wh what is this thing called? Tree archway? I don't know. The tree way uh so we got another new member um let me open it up okay so tom millard they uh they're supporting with three dollars so three dollar supporter and they started on 12 1 i believe 12 1 23 and they have been going for one month so thank you so much tom millard and again thank you rogue outcast uh, but thank you, Tom Millard. Here's your tree, your awesome tree that will be forever sacred in our Let's Play world for however long it goes on for. Thank you all so much for all the support uh, on Patreon and on YouTube alike. And we actually just got YouTube members. I finally got approved for making memberships, so you guys can go down there and uh, become a member as well. I'm not. I'm pretty sure I can see who is a member like by name and how long. So if you guys didn't want to do that, or I also think I could see by how much as well. So if you guys wanted to become a member on YouTube, I know it's a lot easier than having to go over to Patreon. So if you guys wanted to do that, go for it. I will still add you guys uh, into our Let's Play world uh, and make a tree. So just click that little join button down below next to my name and uh, I will get you guys a tree if you do. But Let's go ahead and start on the starter house. So uh, I think I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Uh, it, it's looking all pretty blocky right now. Well, I think I actually kind of want to keep the, the shape of it. I do like how big it is. So we'll go ahead and do that. But I do want to get rid of this, uh, this oak wood. I don't want it to be all oak or mostly oak because oak is kind of boring. <laughs> So we wanna we wanna mix it up a little bit, and I'm going to be using deep slate as well in this build, uh, mostly for the roof. But we want to use quite a bit of packed mud, I think, because I think it goes really well with the oak wood. It kind of complements it pretty well. So we'll just do something kind of like that. Interesting. Uh, but get out of here. Uh, but I also really want to change up the wood throughout this so we'll strip that yeah i think that goes really really well together kind of kind of like smooths it out or something like that i don't know building techniques with the size of something like that uh so we'll do that and then um i don't know if for every single one we'll i uh, just use mud but for most of these i really want to use use mud i want to use it really bad because i did uh, end up making a bunch more stacks of packed mud and that took a while because we had to go farm the wheat and then we had to do that thing Ugh. Ugh. i need a better mud farm so uh let's just we'll go ahead do some more stripped oak or stripped spruce along here do something like that maybe down here we'll do a short one inside so we won't see this one on the outside i don't believe um and for like the inside pillar maybe we should strip the log as well 
Um, maybe? I, I, I guess I kind of thought about doing the... Uh, stripping the oak logs on the outside as well, except that's like pretty bright. And next to mud, packed mud, it's still pretty bright. So maybe not. Also, I need to... I actually need to expand this. So we need to get some dirt and... Uh, where's my dirt? There's some dirt. It's not all the dirt I have. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have that chest right there. Duh. Um, I think I also have a bit of glass in there as well. But that's for another day. Uh, so we can just go ahead and expand this a little bit. Do a little bit of terraforming with the size of... Okay. Oh. Uh, on my main channel, I actually thought about doing some terraforming videos uh, a few years ago, but it never really came to fruition. I think I still have the notepad for that video idea. Maybe I should. Yeah. If, if people want to see it really bad, maybe, but I do kind of like sticking with our world here. And maybe I can just do like an episode where we like terraform. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Nice. It's coming along pretty smooth, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, until I get to something else, to something else interesting at least. Um, maybe I should put in pack my bricks so these two aren't looking the same. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll be right back. Also, yes, I did just realize that this is four wide and not five wide. Dang it. I'm going to have to... Oh my god. I'm going to have to redo this part. Well, I guess I will be right back with you guys in a second whenever something else interesting happens. Oh, hello there, friends. Um, uh, I kind of don't want to deal with you right now. I have a full inventory. I'm already mad because of that. But I really don't want to get that, uh, the... What effect is it called? What is it called? I don't remember. Bad Omen, right? Yeah. Kind of don't want to get that. Um, I will go over here, kill you guys anyway. There's a banner boy. Oh, there he is. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, they did so much damage. <laughs> What the heck? They did so much! Holy cow. Okay, uh, I gotta go get, like, the actual armor. Uh, stop it! No! Leave me alone! Stop! In the name of the law. Okay, I think they can open doors, so we should probably do that. Um, protection. Do that. Oh, I can enchant these as well. Can't... Probably should not forget about that. No, protection three, shit. Hey, depth charger three, you know what? I'll take it. Well, that was a bad enchant. Um, well, we'll eat this carrot real quick. You're prepared. Yeah, you're dead. Thank God. Why was he the only one that ran after me? We're in full diamond armor. Look at us. Oh, stacked. Except for protection three leggings only. Well, I guess I can throw those away. I'm going to be wearing these for... Ever. Uh, you know, I never realized that that was happening. Shook. Let's... See. Ow. Stop. Head. Okay, well, bamboo farm is still going strong, it seems like. Where did they go? They better, yeah, they better have ran off. Mm. Wait, if I do this, can I see them? Anywhere? Hello? You guys move along? You guys run away? Yeah, that's right. You better have ran away. Buttholes. All right. So we're at a little bit of uh, progress now. Um, so I got the floor laid out. I wanted to go with the, uh, the stripped oak logs just because I think, 
I think they look pretty good for floor, to be honest. I kind of like, I, oh, I really like how they look. <laughs> um, oh, right here, we should actually, we should change these up, right? Can you? Oh, you can. Oh, shoot. Well, that kind of stinks as well. Because now I have three stripped logs that I can't use. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, okay, so for the top, I don't really know. I don't know what we should go with. So let's let's get up there real quick. Um, maybe we could just do just some just some spruce logs. Maybe I think that might be okay. Is it is it okay? I think it's okay. Uh, I kind of like the the earth tone that we have down here, and the, this one is a lot smoother, more sim simplistic, I guess. So I think that will work. But for the roof, that's going to be interesting. Um, let's put a crafting table out there. Should probably put one in here. Uh, so we're going to need a staircase somewhere in here. Um, or at least a ladder. So maybe, maybe we put the staircase around here. But what block do we go with? Is a real question. Uh, maybe we do a little bit of like polished. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a weird looking tree. <laughs> polished deep slate square uh, stairs. Also, some of these are not going to grow. Just move them. Yep. Put them in different spots. Probably put one over here. I just don't want it to block the... Uh... Oh, I have a crap ton of bones. See how this grows. Oh, that, yeah, that looks good. Nice. Uh, do that. Boom. Gotta move this one. Oh, I should also probably light up around here. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'll come back with you guys whenever I get a little bit more progress done on the house. Alrighty, so we are back. And I have basically gotten it done. Uh, at least the uh, exterior of the base of the build I have gotten done. And let me know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I I'm fairly happy with it for... The most part uh right here i wish i could do something a little bit different i try to alternate the stairs and the slabs so like there's a slab here and then a stair here and then i kind of just alternated it to give it more of a weird flow um just something that's not straight diagonal uh so i tried to do that but on the sides i kind of just did the regular diagonal um, I didn't want a super tall roof because, again, we don't have very many materials and I don't want the roof to dwarf the house. So that's why I didn't do a stair and then a block and then a stair and then a block. Um, I just made a normal roof on this side. It just looks like a normal gingerbread house sort of thing. Uh, over here, I added in a uh, little flower bin basket thing and i used the grass that we got from killing an enderman uh and just put it right there since we don't have silk touch yet uh over on the sides oh i guess i need to uh kind of stagger that out if i have anything i guess i could use a wall that looks yeah okay uh i do have one mud brick so i can shove that right there now the wall looks a little bit more normal uh okay so we still need to put a front door on this thing but if we just go in here obviously very bare but it doesn't look bad we have a lot of room to work with in here uh so i just did a spiral staircase leading up to the second floor uh and then we have uh ugh, that sounds weird uh some mud brick walls uh as the pillar so we don't fall in the center here uh pretty cool and then uh, I think we can just add a roof uh, across here or we can keep it open concept. Uh, I think I might 
close the roof a little bit, like add some blocks right here, maybe, uh, just because it does look a little funky. Maybe add some blocks along here. Well, I guess I can't do too, too much because we do have a window right there. But yeah, I'll, I'll figure out something in between episodes. But next episode, we're probably going to come in here and actually do an interior. Um, just because I don't want this video to be super duper long. And there's going to be a, quite a bit of stuff. But we still need to put a door on the front of this thing and work around the outside of it. And I kind of wanted to walk through with you guys on uh, what I planned on doing in that, that sort of process of uh, doing the outside. So one thing I for sure want for the door, if I can, okay. Uh, I want a, a cherry, I want a cherry wood door. Oh, I still want a cherry wood door. I feel like uh, we can do that or do we want, do we want it? No. Okay. Yeah, we want it this way. Ignore that. Uh, so if we do that, then it looks pretty good. I think the door definitely complements with the roof. And that's why I wanted to do a cherry door uh, instead. Also, I need to go up there and fix that. That looks really, really odd to me. See you. Do we, do we keep this one? I think we keep this one. Or maybe, do I keep it? Let's see. Look at it from all angles. Luckily, this free cam account, or free cam account, this free cam mod is very, very useful for looking at your builds. Uh, really the only thing I use it for. Uh, yeah, so I think that looks a bit better, right? Just at putting a slab right there. Yeah, that looks quite a bit better. Um... Yeah, so just let me know what you guys think, and if you have any suggestions, I might include like a, a little patio area, like maybe we can knock out this wall, or like over on this side, since it's kind of blank, uh, maybe we just add like a little patio area leading out this way, and then we can have like a, a trail leading over to the archway, I think would be pretty cool, so maybe we do something like that, and then we're just able to put in like a door or whatever. Um, obviously fix that up a little bit more but a little patio area out here probably wouldn't hurt too bad uh okay so for the outside like around here what i want to do is kind of get rid of a bit of this dirt probably keep a little bit of the grass but for the most part we want to get rid of this dirt so there is um a thing such dirt called coarse dirt which we can actually craft if you guys didn't know uh we don't have to go all the way to the mesa biome that's like way over there i think a few hundred blocks so we can just shove a bunch of this coarse dirt in here and we don't have to worry about grass growing over to it but i also i think i want to mix in a little bit of packed mud along with it even though we did use it in our regular build i think uh, we could definitely use some of it in our landscaping uh let's see maybe we include some spruce wood along with it just get a bit more browns in there don't want to use too much of this though since it is so smooth uh a little bit more packed mud i think uh yeah so i think that looks pretty good um let's go ahead i need to make a bit of fences i don't think i have any fences right oops uh should probably take the sticks now no doesn't look like it okay so i just want to make some fences we'll make not that much probably be all right right let's uh if we're gonna have a patio area we're probably gonna have something like that and then have a little lead way leading possibly up through here maybe and then like around and then i'll link up with the door here probably Oh, shoot. 
probably do that and then boop there we go and then this pathway is also going to lead down to our farm area so it's going to be like a, a little split right here so let's get the fences do something like this i think and then we'll also do that come in here uh, for this part, we can split it up a little bit. Uh, put the dirt. A little bit of packed mud. So and so, and then for this area, uh, I want to I want to put some flowers, add a little bit of color into the build. So there is rose bushes somewhere over here. Are they over here? Yes. Okay, there they are. Uh, I should probably grab some dandelions as well. I'm going to have a lot of red in this build. Just because the forest doesn't have... It's not a flowered forest, so it doesn't have a ton of uh, things. Okay, I don't really need the gunpowder. Take a few of these, and then we'll just go back to base. Lay them out pretty good. Uh, okay few of those run back oh yeah i should also take advantage of the pink petals and i, I wonder if we make huh okay i i'm starting the the creativity brain is starting to turn out some stuff right now so we can just scatter these things throughout add a little bit of color and life to our build. So we'll do something like that. And then just include those. Boom. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Maybe something like that. Oh yeah. I like it. Uh once we get like lilacs and that sort of stuff or uh whatever the, the other tall flowers are called and dandelions for sure. Um We'll, we'll include those in here. It won't just be like the red, the roses, the rose bushes. Uh, yeah, so we should probably take advantage of these pink petals. Um, so they are rotational, which is nice. Very nice. Put a little bit of pink in our builds. Uh, can I? Yeah. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, so one thing I kind of want to experiment with. Oh, yeah. I also lit up a lot around. Uh, I didn't light up too much over there because I ran out of torches. But I lit up like all of this st stuff over here. So we should be pretty good for um, mobs, I think, for the most part. Also, I need to... I for completely forgot. I need to go up here. I guess since we're already going to be like doing something else with this, I, I don't really want to go too into depth with it actually. Okay, so one thing that I want to experiment with is making a custom cherry tree. Wait, uh, fence, fences. So let's make a few of these and then I need shears. I have a pair of shears somewhere, right? Yes, okay. So let's go over to this. Tree looks kind of weird anyway. Doesn't hurt to shave off a few, few extra leaves, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then we will take these cherry fences and my cherry leaves, and we'll just try to think, is this gonna be the best spot? So maybe we do something like this and we just add a couple cherry leaves along it. Something like that. It looks, looks kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Maybe we do uh, mm, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, that doesn't look terrible, I guess. 
He's walking from this side. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, definitely something new. So maybe we do something like this. Go out with it. Kind of, you kind of want to make it look like a cherry tree without being one, right? So it's got like a weird shape to it. Man, this is rough. This is hard. Okay, yeah, so I think those look pretty good. And the reason why I wanted to build the, uh, using the cherry leaves is just because they, they add those little particles, the little cherry blossoms falling off, which look amazing and give uh, life to a stable build, which is very, very handy. I really like it. So if you guys want to take this tip, there you go. Building with decisive... <laughs> But yeah, so I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm super duper happy with this uh, starter base. Um, obviously, the inside is not done yet. We will... Oh. Eh, that's weird. Um, obviously, the inside is not done yet, but we will do that next episode. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you all are new here. I uh, post every other day at 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, so you guys can expect more episodes to come out then. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.